Hello folks all over the world. Some of you, wrote to me about a new TikTok user, who has been having success in the last few weeks, his name Alex Marufo, and his channel is. Please Conchita help me with the correct pronunciation, thank you. El Chico del Futuro. Someone told us, can you investigate about El Chico del Futuro? Today, we will. Alex posted some really interesting material, he has very well made videos, he knows how to be convincing, in fact his channel can count over 1,300,000 followers including us, who will also follow him for the next videos. Personally I love this type of users, they are original, capable, determined, and post beautiful content. So, what you are about to see is simply a content investigation, that's all. Let's start by analyzing his first video, where he presents himself, framing a street. Estoy atrapado en el año 2045. He viajado por el tiempo 24 años. No sé la hora. Mi reloj ha dejado de funcionar debido a las fluctuaciones del viaje. Tengo 25 años. Según a la época que me trasladé, debería de tener 49. De verdad que no entiendo nada. Estoy desconcertado. El cielo se ve extraño y no he visto a ninguna persona desde que desperté. En verdad parece una película de terror. Ok, let's try to make a similar video together. We can put a landscape, a road, then we color the background orange or red, and then we use a speech that has an effect, something like. We are at the end of 2045. The whole world is shocked by atomic explosions. On the face of the earth, the oceans had disappeared, and the plains had the appearance of desolate deserts. However, the human race had survived. No Alex, it is not convincing. Okay this is just the first video, let's move on to the second video. In this new video, Alex explains that he got information from NASA, and that in 2022, a kind of virus, turned some people into zombies, and so a war between humans and zombies was born, and the few survivors are protected thanks to this wall you see in the video, which gives humanity a second chance. Now, suppose Alex is telling the truth, in 2022 a virus will turn much of humanity into zombies. What is shown in the video is the Mexican wall on the border with the United States, inaugurated by former President Donald Trump on June 23, 2020. The question is, how can the border wall with Mexico contain zombies, it means that in the United States there are no zombies. Or are there only healthy humans in Mexico, and the zombies are all American? I have some dull American friends, but not zombies. Definitely, this wall wasn't built for the zombies Alex, trust us. In the third video, Alex shows a footage of a zombie horde taken with a 360 degree camera, an ugly low quality video, and says not to worry because there are two types of zombies, herbivores and carnivores, and these are all herbivores. I've heard several stories about zombies, but I missed the vegetarian variant of this virus. Some users in the comments point out that this video was taken from the video game titled, The Last of Us 2, honestly we have had tons of TV seasons from the Walking Dead series, so that could even be a piece of an episode. Let's leave out for a moment, some subsequent videos, where you see zombie scenes, and hear noises of gunfire equal to a B-series horror movie, I show you two videos. It seems that some users, ask Alex, show us some captured zombies. In the first video, Alex explains that they are zombies captured and trapped for examination, with the aim of finding the cure. In the second, he shows us a great variety of newborn zombies, also trapped and examined to see if they can return to normal. No Alex, that's wrong, you're cheating here. The whole world knows the Museum of the Inquisition Guanajuato, Mexico. All the exhibits you show in these two videos, are visible in the museum. In the first video, you show the section where mummies, dating back to the 16th century, are exhibited during the Spanish Inquisition, medieval period where those deemed outlaws were barbarously tortured. In the second video, the one of the children, these are people who died during a cholera epidemic, in the mid-19th century, and were buried. It is very sad their story. Some were buried with a facial expression similar to a scream, which suggests they were buried alive due to the disease. In this video, Alex responds to a user who says, I believe you if you enter a church. During the video he explains that he has been trapped for two weeks in the year 2045, that there are few survivors in the world, that he has searched the airport for signs of humanity, 
but has not met anyone, and now he hopes for a divine sign inside this church in the Vatican, reached thanks to his private plane, that we will see in other videos, then, for the rest of the video, he takes up the frescoes and nave, of this Vatican church. No Alex, this is the second lie you tell. At the third lie, we will be forced to call you El Chico of the present. This church is not a Vatican church, this is the Templo de San Cayetano en la Valenciana, in Guanajuato, Mexico. It was built in 1778, next to the Valenciana mine, from where it takes its name. It is difficult to think that you can deceive Mexicans, who know their church as well, but also the rest of your followers around the world, who in addition to being tourists in Mexico, also have the internet and are able in 2021 to know which church there you are showing. And the parallel world excuse is not valid either, because you disappeared in 2021 when these buildings you show, already existed. It is difficult to think that the Inquisition building was created later with the same mummies, that you now say are zombies, or a church with a totally Mexican architecture and tradition, located within the Vatican area. In this video, Alex says he is outside a parking center in Wuhan, China, where where at one moment he was surprised by an invasion of crows, and the legend has it that when a large flock of crows approaches you, is because they want to give you, the Manjiku, and according to information from NASA, the Manjiku would be a device capable of perceiving the movements of large masses in the area. Alex think that this device, could be a great weapon, for fighting zombies. No Alex, this is the third official lie you tell. A promise is a promise, you are officially El Chico del Presenta. This video wasn't shot in Wuhan, you didn't, and it certainly isn't a video of the future. This is a video from December 14, 2018 shot in Houston, Texas. It was shot by a girl outside a Walmart store, talking to her boyfriend very scared, who says temperatures have dropped below freezing, which must have caused these crows to gather in a warmer area, the car park. The news was widely reported by local newspapers, and is easily available on the internet, as well as the video. Perhaps, this is one of the most interesting videos on the channel, because it is unusual. Here, Alex shows what he says is his private plane parked in the forest. He describes it as a Boeing 737, for passenger transport, converted with an engine of the future, to be able to fly on an automatic pilot, which has about four hours of autonomy, which forces it to travel continuously to search for fuel, and with the hope of finding survivors. In the video, we see a first-person camera moving inside the airplane, climbing on it, and showing the inside and outside of the aircraft during the night. First of all, it must be specified that this is not a Boeing 737, but a three-engine 727. What many people don't know is that there are many abandoned planes around the world. For example in Mexico, a 727 abandoned in the Guanajuato forest, was recently discovered by a YouTuber, who posted the video of the discovery. Local newspapers have reported the news, saying that there is also another similar abandoned aircraft in Tampico. In the United States there is even a place called the Aircraft Cemetery, where there are several abandoned aircraft, civil and military. There is also a place in Oregon, in the forest, where an abandoned 727 is visited very often by local tourists. The plane indeed has been cleaned and cared, in such a way as to make it welcoming for tourists, who come from different parts of the world to visit this original idea. So, Alex may have filmed one of these planes, by passing it off as the plane of the future. Or, as in the case of the single sober Vivian Tad tiktok -er, it could be a film set, artfully built to fuel a future television series. People, the first episode on the investigation of the TikTok channel, El Chico del Futuro, ends here. Thank you all for watching this video and for your support. 
Sign up and click on the bell to stay up to date on new videos. I greet you and remember, we live in a logical and mathematically ordered universe, don't believe everything, ask, analyze, and you will solve.